Hello everybody and welcome back to our Let's Play series of Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age. I've just been exploring a little bit of the new area Tickington? Talkington? And talk to our new friends right here and it looks like there are several tomes that we can journey to to visit a different world once we get passwords that unlock the tomes. I think we'll try to get a couple of these unlocked first and then maybe explore later on. So I kind of think that this whole area is just to kind of give you a vibe of past Dragon Quest experiences. Kind of like the retro vibes. Pretty cool looking though, I will admit. But I think for now we're going to be continuing on our main journey. And we'll visit this area again in a later episode. thing we're gonna do is go through here. Okay, save real quick. None may pass without a pass. We're going to show him the pass to Galapolis. Okay, we can enter freely now. Good news for us. Whole new area to explore. Galapagos region. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. It's like an oasis with a desert, kind of. See what the whole area has in store for us. I would assume new enemies, maybe some new items. A whole bunch of enemies this time. Skull Riders down. <coughs> and the fiery breath's pretty strong. Okay, 
were able Wonderful. to defeat the chimeras. Nice! Okay, Eric's up to level 13. Okay, I think now that we have lost Veronica, we're probably going to want to restore her really quick. I can go to that. I think he was a priest over here. back. Let's see if we have to actually heal her at all. Let's transfer over an herb. Oh, she's at 55, but Serena might need one. in the Galapagos region. Let's check out some more enemies. Skull Rider to go. Okay, let's see what other sites are in store for us. Got a sparkly over here. Okay, Duneberry, cotton top. That's pretty cool looking. It's like a little sandy drop off spot. Got some sparkly stuff over here. And a treasure chest. Another mini metal. Let's take out another one of these guys. Okay, 
one more skull rider to go. Okay, we're looking Wonderful. good. Critter Hitter, awarded for defeating 300 monsters. Breadwinner, awarded for acquiring 5,000 gold. Some more items. What we need now are probably some recipes for some new weapons and armor. Small scale. Way over there I can see another sparkly. into how to defeat a metal slime. Beast bone. Wide open area, actually. Cactus balls. Okay. Thank you. 
We've got the cacti balls defeated. I feel better Easy. than ever. Okay, Serena's up to level 13. And a new skill. We've got a sparkly over here. More iron ore. Ooh, and a bonfire spot. Anything for us to really forge at the moment. We need new recipes. We're after making camp ten times. Okay, we'll do a quick save. Just head for the Sultanate and go from there. Well, that's not the way we wanted to go yet. Oh, there's Sparkly over here. Snake skin. Just sands. We don't want to go that way yet. We're gonna to want to go back around this way. along the coastline. Looks like we have the new area. going on, I wonder? Hmm. Yes, of course. Galopolis is the kingdom of the Desert Knight, isn't it? And of the racetrack where they love to compete. I think we've arrived in town just in time for the horse racing festival. Well, you go play with ponies if you like. I'm off to look for the Yggdrasil branch. That's why we're here, in case you've forgotten. Oh, let Mr. Moody No Fun go off on his own if he wants. There's nothing to stop us having a little look around while we're here. Okay, here's Galapolis. I spend all day trawling through these stalls. There's rarities and bargains galore. About a special valuable branch that the Sultan owns. Maybe you should ask him about it. He lives in the big palace at the top of the stairs in the middle of the city. Okay, so we've got a side quest over here. Oh, good day to you. I assume you're here to sample Galapolis. World renowned cactus cutlet. If so, I'm afraid I have bad news for you. The kitchen is currently closed while I dedicate my energies to improving the recipe. I'm certain that a golden globule would intensify the flavor tenfold, but acquiring such an ingredient is easier said than done. The golden globes 
the cacti who carry them are extremely vicious, but they would pose no problem for a young and no doubt vigorous individual such as yourself. Perhaps you could assist me? Will you be willing to hunt down a golden globe in order to acquire the golden globule? Okay. A cactus cutlet to die for. Quest we have accepted. That's underway. You've been asked to defeat a golden globe in order to get your hands on a golden globule. Apparently they appear every so often alongside the fellow cactiballs. Okay, so we'll just have to fight cactiballs as we go. Thing, just in case we find some books with some recipes. right here. The deadly denizens of the celestial sands. Take, Rogue takes it from the shelf and gets a closer look. Describe a select few among the countless ferocious monsters. The Spitzfire, nocturnal beast that spends the daylight hours asleep, thankfully. Should you ever be unfortunate enough to happen upon one, take good care not to wake it. The Slayer of the Sands, an enormous anthropod that has slain too many brave Galapitan knights to count. Is thought mainly to prowl the very center of the celestial sands, and then the cactilodal, swimming through the sands as if they were water. It attracts its prey with a scent like the cactus flowers. Okay, so it looks like nighttime has some pretty vicious monsters to deal with. Ooh, wayfarer's clothes. Let's see what we got here. Okay, that would be a decrease in all of our armor. We got some pots over here. This is the church. Ooh, traveler's Hood. The cowl that covers the face, but can help make them wear seem somewhat suspicious. That's for... to give us a little bit of defense. in defense is always nice. Here's a single ally of confusion.
think I think this is a good stopping point. In our next episode, we will further explore Galapolis and head on over to the Sultan's Palace. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in, and we'll be talking again real soon.